Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast. This is the first of our NFL draft team needs. I'm doing the Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots, but not everything feels right. There's a, there's a green screen back here. We're not, we don't have the ugly, ugly white walls behind us, but I don't know. Something about the green's making me really pale, so uh, did that work, Ricky? Did that, Rick, did that put something behind me? All right, cool. We should have, like, footballs or something. I don't know. It should look cool. Ricky, show me it. Uh, we're doing team draft needs uh, for the New England Patriots. Super Bowl champions. They almost gave me a heart attack in the last game, but five Super Bowl now for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, you get Brandon Cooks in the offseason. You re-sign Dante Hightower. You get Stephon Gilmore. You still have Malcolm Butler. He might be gone, but... Uh, you know, nothing official yet. We still have Malcolm Butler on this team. So this team is reloaded for another Super Bowl run, and Tom Brady looks as good as ever. So the Patriots look absolutely stacked. They won't have a first-rounder, obviously, with trading that to the Saints for Brandon Cooks, but they will have two third-rounders, a fourth-rounder, two fifth-rounders, a sixth-rounder, and a seventh-rounder. We are going to give you the top three needs for each team in the NFL Draft. This one's coming out on Monday. I think we're going to have one every single day. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be during the weekday or during the weekend. Ricky, thumbs up, thumbs down, weekend, weekday, 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 weekday. So every weekday we will have a team uh, with draft needs for you. So every weekday, Monday through Friday, we will have every single team. So we got starting off with the Patriots, Super Bowl champions. And the first need the Patriots have is offensive tackle. Sebastian Vollmer is gone. Nate Solder is still on the team, but you know he has de dealt with injury problems in the past. He can go at any time, especially with his contracts coming up after the season. Marcus Cannon was fantastic last year, but I don't know how if I don't know if you know uh, Solder can keep it up. So you need to get someone to pair with Cannon. I, I, I'm happy with the future that they resigned him, but you need to pair another tackle there because Tom Brady's your most valuable asset. You need to give him pressure, and we saw what Cannon, uh, how Cannon got blown up in the 2015 AFC Championship game. Uh, so you need to protect. Uh, Tom Brady and your most valuable assets. So you got to go out and get a tackle, whether that's the first uh, pick of the third round that you have, or you trade up and get one. You do have a lot of picks. You do have a lot of assets. You also do have Jimmy Garoppolo. So you can go up and get a big name tackle if you feel like it. Uh, but I think tackle is the biggest need for the Patriots. Second biggest need is linebacker, both on the outside and inside. We obviously saw the loss of Jamie Collins, trading him to the Cleveland Browns. And Landon Roberts didn't do terrible. Uh, but you saw the lack of speed. And Dante Hightower obviously de deals with injuries all the time. He's not a guy that's consistently on the field, but when he is on the field, he's one of the most clutch linebackers in the league. But you still need some speed alongside him. We saw Devontae Freeman get to the edge a lot in that Super Bowl, and that was really killing the Patriots. So if the Patriots can get some speed, get a guy that can really attack on the outside like Jamie Collins used to, I think that would be a nice addition to the team. Again, I don't know how Landon Roberts is going to do. And plus, if you get an outside linebacker to pair with Nikovic, uh, a guy who is aging, a guy that can bring pressure, um, I think that would be a really nice addition. And again, talking about pressure, going to the defensive line for your third need. We brought in Coney Ealy, which I love, but he is probably only going to be here for one year. So a defensive line is a big need for the Patriots. The pass rush was pretty much non-existent last year for the Patriots. I think getting a guy that can rush the passer, passer is a, a big need because obviously the Patriots weren't running a lot of blitz packages to get to the quarterback. But if you can get a guy that can do that naturally like Chandler Jones used to do, I think that would be a nice addition to the Patriots. So offensive tackle, linebacker, D-line. Patriots are going to be, need to be really savvy with their picks, obviously not having a first or second rounder. But then again, Jimmy Garoppolo can go at any minute now if they do want to trade him. So he can bring up, uh, bring up some first rounders and second rounders if you want to. But again, offense tackle, linebacker, and D-line. Tell me what you think the Patriots need down in the comments down below. Any specific players that you think would fit on this Patriots team. But even if they don't go out and get all these players, you still look at this team. You look how much how loaded they really are with Tom Brady. Uh, they need a running back but I don't think they're going to go in the draft and get one. I think they're probably going to either re-sign Garrett Blunt or go and get a, a guy that's cheaper than Adrian Peterson. You obviously have the wide receivers, the tight end when Gronk is healthy. The line is a little shaky, but it's not awful. And you look at that defense, that defense is very underrated. You have a lot of great pieces on there, Hightower, Gilmore, Butler. Uh, you also got McCordy in the secondary. So there's a lot of pieces on this Patriots team. And I'm still probably going to pick them to repeat because this team is absolutely loaded. But again, tell me what you think the Patriots need down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out patreon.com slash Podcast. But we will see you next time.